guys welcome back to another lesson and today we're gonna to be looking at um, figures and graphs and and just putting them to together with patterns and so just as a start here I, I kind of have a pattern going with these little figures and the squares are getting larger and there's more of them and so just taking a look at this how are these patterns alike and how are they different and if you were to figure out what goes in figure 5 what would you draw? All right, so here's a couple ways we we're gonna look at a couple ways that we can represent a pattern on, on with coordinates. And so the first thing is kind of just tying it together. We can model a pattern with tiles on grid paper. And you can see I started making a pattern here, and the pattern increases with every figure. Um, the shapes kind of stay similar, but yet they grow. And the funny thing is, we can make a table from this graph. So we're gonna we're gonna apply you know everything we've learned so far and just kind of mix it together so uh, I made a I made a little graph really small with our little figures and you can still see figure one figure two figure three figure four and figure five and I made a table here and you might notice something that we learned last lesson that's the you know ordered pairs and so I have the figure number column here so this is the figure number and this figure one represents this figure one here which is looking like that Okay, so figure one is here, and that figure one has three squares in it. So that would be this, three squares. And I can make an ordered pair out of that. And the first number is one, comma, three, in brackets. And that's an ordered pair as we learned uh, last time. You can see figure two. That's this guy here. Is there five squares? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, there is. There we go. And we make an ordered pair to comma five. So you can see that pattern kind of continues. And if we're looking at pattern rules, um, the figure number is starting at one, goes up by one each time. That kind of is kind of, you know, how it's going right here. And the number of tiles is starting at three and going up by two each time. We're adding two each time. And then the ordered pair kind of reflects both of those. Well, we can take this table and we can graph it. So I took our table and I made a graph. And so we can graph this. So we're gonna use the ordered pair column. So figure number one, and I'm gonna go one to the right, and I'm gonna go three up. So one, so one, two, three, I'm gonna make a dot right there. That's my ordered pair. I have two to the five, so that's right here. I have three, seven. Huh, I don't know if you notice something's going on here. I have four and nine. I have five and 11. And I have six and 13. And I didn't make enough going up, but I have seven and 15, which would be about here. Now, I don't know if you notice a pattern, but that seems to be going up in a straight line. I could draw a straight line through those dots. That is indeed showing me a pattern here. So we just applied um, our figures to a table and that took that table and made it into a, a, a graph on the coordinate grid. So that's kind of interesting. We can take all three of those and connect them up. So I'm gonna let you try one, okay? So I'd like you to... So I'd like you to try this. So I have a model here. Uh, I kind of just drew them all for you, and I only did four because I only had room for four. But you can kind of see that um, this this is a pattern. It, it's got you know figure one, figure two, figure three, figure four. It's it's getting larger. It's it's kind of an L shaped, and we can take this and make a table of it. So this is what I kind of want you to do. So this is what I kind of want you to do. I want you to use the graph, and you can kind of see up in the right corner. I'm sorry if it's a little small, but I want you to try and, and continue this pattern here. So I'd like you to pause for a sec if you got a piece of scrap paper, or you can just do it mentally. Just uh, just take a few moments and figure out, uh, finish the, the number of tiles column, and then we got to figure out what is the ordered pairs here. Okay. Um, now that you got all your answers down, I don't know if you notice a pattern, but uh, the number of tiles is, go is starting at four and going up by three each time. So that means that if I was to draw figure five, there'd be 16 squares. If I was to you know, draw figure six, there'd be 
19 squares. And if I was to draw figure seven, there should be 22 squares. Okay, so now we can make the ordered pairs. So uh, the first one is brackets, and that's figure one, comma, four. And we have two, comma, seven. We have three, 10, and four, 13. We have five, 16. We have six, 19. And we have seven, 22. Okay. So we got that going, okay, and then we can take this and graph it. Now, again, I'm gonna have to quickly fill this in again. So that was 16, 19, 22. So that was one, four, two, seven, three, 10, and four, 13, and five, 16. And we had 6, 19. I'm sorry if this looks really messy. 7, 22. Okay. So maybe I'll use a blue, a blue color here. So 1 and 4. 1, 4 was that first guy. The second was 2 and 7. And we have 3 and 10. We have 4 and 13. I might have room for one more. We have 5 and... 16 so about there now if I made a mistake with my ordered pairs written here I would realize this um, by when I was graphing if you realize that all of a sudden you have well, let's use a different color I have you know one here one here one here clearly there's no pattern there something's gone awry so that means that we've made a mistake somewhere but you can see by my blue dots they're going in a straight line I know that there is a pattern going on, okay? And I know that it is moving one to the right and one, two, three, up. And that's what's happening. This is going up by one, and this is going up by three. It's kind of connected. So I know that I have done this correctly. Well, we're not quite done yet. We have um, another one for you to try. So just look here now. If, I don't know if you have graph paper kicking around, but if you do, um, try and chart this one here. Okay, now the first thing you notice is that it says input output. Input output, we haven't seen that for a while. And I don't have any ordered pairs here. I don't. Um, we didn't list those yet. But we can still use an input output chart to see if there's a pattern. And we just, we're gonna, if you noticed before, we don't really need that ordered pair column because it's kind of already there for us, okay? So the first one I'm gonna do is two and four, right about there. And I have four and eight, and six and 12, and eight, and 16, which is way up here. Okay, and again, do I have a, could I draw a straight line through that? Yes, I can. I can totally draw a straight line through that. I can see that there's the pattern going on. And I notice that this is going up by two, and this is going up by four. And is that true over here? Yes, two, four, six, eight, it's going up by two, and this is going up by four. So that's just really it. So um, here we're taking um, patterns that we see in tables and we're seeing in figures that are growing and we're applying it to our Cartesian plane um, as we see it here and uh, we're, we're able to make ordered pairs, we're able to graph it, we're able to see patterns because if I can draw a straight line, I'm not using a ruler on a smart board, but I could draw a straight line through it, I can see there's clearly a pattern. So yeah, that's it guys. And so just wanna remind you that in life, math happens. All right, take care.